One songwriting technique that has generated 99% of my best material. When I was in college, someone once showed me this chart to talk about procrastination. All work can be divided into things that are urgent and things that are important. A lot of things, it turns out, are urgent but not important, like replying to some insignificant email that has the little received three days ago reply. And a lot of things are also important but not urgent. For songwriters, this is writing. The most important part of a songwriter's job is the writing. Yet at the same time, on any given day, your average songwriter does not have a deadline to write a song. There are, however, many things your average songwriter is asked to do on a daily, deadline-driven basis, like file your taxes or post on TikTok so the algorithm likes you. Because these things are urgent, you can prioritize them over more important things, like writing. Because of this, I found it essential to create my own structures and deadlines around writing. One of my favorites of these is Song A Days, where for a month or a week or two weeks, I'd make it a goal to finish a new song every single day. This is a particularly great technique if you're a perfectionist, hypothetically, because it not only gives you a deadline, but it's a short enough one that there's only so much overthinking you can do before it's on to the next song. But when I was making my debut album, Maker of Salt, I actually discovered a new technique that I liked even better. I alternate between two kinds of days. One would be free days where I'd just start things and play around with ideas, not worrying about finishing them into a song. The other would be finishing days where I'd complete something from the material I generated the previous day. This technique alternating between free starting days and finishing days produced my best writing yet and the vast majority of the songs in my debut album. Try it out yourself. Let me know how it goes.